Hobbs Parker are Kent's leading car auctioneers and their forthcoming October classic sale looks set to be the most varied yet. Online bidding starts at 12 noon on the 18th of October and finishes 24 hours later at 12 noon on the 19th of October. The full catalogue will be able to view online and you can actually come down and view the lots in person from the 16th of October. And safe to say, Jack, there's a fantastic selection here. And we're starting with a car that I know both you and I are holding very high esteem, Phil, the Triumph, Triumph Herald. Herald. Beautiful, uh, lovely 1250 example. Yeah, slightly bigger engine, better brakes. Yeah, this one's an absolute sweetie. It's got loads of paperwork, I believe. Uh, the previous owners MOT'd it to next August. Yep, it's old enough to not need an MOT, but it's always nice when owners stick an MOT on it. Exactly. It just gives you that extra tick in the box. The full saloon rather than the convertible, but it's got the uh, best of both worlds, the Robasto roof, roof. Engine runs like a Swiss watch. Gearbox is lovely, steering sweet, and a really good Triumph Herald. It's beautiful, it's got some fresh tyres by the looks of it. The interior is immaculate. And I think you couldn't ask for a better starter classic than this Herald. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. But another British icon of course is the Mini. You don't get much better British iconic cars than the Mini. This is a 2000 Mini Cooper Sport so of course, one of the last. June 2000 this was registered. They ended in October 2000 so this is one of the ultimate Minis in more ways than one. Full front end rebuild yep. I believe. New cells. The interior not the most hard wearing bit in a late Mini but it's all here. All the Sport Pack bits are there. All the chrome's nice. So um, a straight cut gearbox. Straight cut 3 to 1 ratio gearbox so slightly higher gearing. A lovely little package. Minis great fun to drive. Perfect. So compact British classic. But if you want something that's completely opposite from a hard riding, sporty, small front wheel drive British classic, there is a British behemoth in the form of this <laughs> the silver aircraft spur. carrier of a car, a Rolls Royce I mean, Silver Spur. So this is called the long wheelbase of Silver the spirit. spirit, effectively. Yes. And this is a 1986 model, I believe. 53,000 miles. Needs a bit of recommissioning, I would suggest. But yes, it's sitting a little bit low at the back, so the rear suspension probably needs regas. That's not as bad as it sounds. There are companies out there that will regas the spheres and go through the hydraulics for you. Low mileage, so the interior is perfect. The paintwork's generally really good. Engine sounds really sweet and smooth, as you'd hope on a Rolls Royce. And it's priced low enough that if you wanted a silver spur, it would be a really good starting point. What a car. What yes. a car for the money. Being a bit more bread and butter about <laughs> things. The world's most bread and butter and car. The this what is more my kind of thing here. Yeah, I think this is a lot of people's thing. And yeah, this um, is a this is really nice. If you're into Ford Cortinas, this one ticks all the boxes. 1981 you want. Mark V Cortina. Yeah, 1.6 GL. It's got the A-frame headrest with the little uh, cushion infill. You were a senior manager if you had one yeah. of these. But <laughs> the condition is remarkable. It was yeah. new in 81 and then taken off the road in 1990, yep. and then only recommissioned earlier this year. Yes. I think it so was. it's a effectively a nine-year-old Cortina with 18,000 miles on the clock. It's got all these little things like spark right at 80, stop thief vehicle protection stickers and things like that. It's full of love. It's got magic tree air freshener. Show ready or just drive it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And of course, it's arch nemesis back in those days would have been the Vauxhall Cavalier. Yes. We don't quite have the Cavalier. We, don't. we have We have the Cavalier's grandfather. Yes. yes, the Victor. <laughs> the Victor. This being an FB one, the second, deluxe. Yep. This one's lovely. They have a reputation of being horrific rust buckets, but generally the ones that have survived to this day got the care and attention they needed from new or have been restored. And this one is in lovely condition all the way through. And the interior has got patina, as we'd probably say. It's got a lovely old car smell. Engine runs, starts and drives beautifully. A nice array of uh, grill badges. If you just want a classic 60s saloon that will get people going, oh, you haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, my dad had one of those. Now, this is definitely a bit of me, this. Uh, <laughs> this is a uh, 1988 Ford Fiesta 1.4 S model, so the lukewarm hatchback. Yes. So it's got the 1.4 CVH lean burn engine, yeah. a few XR2 accoutrements, so it's got the steel wheel caps and the XR2 steering wheel. And, and the red stripes down the side and the bumpers. Fog lights and red stripe. It's a lovely condition mm -hmm. thing, it really is. The interior is absolutely immaculate. Bigger dash that the gear and the XR2 would have had. So Only 53,000 miles, one family from new, father and son. And apparently they were risking weighing it in under the uh, ULEZ scrappage scheme because they lived in Twickenham. Fortunately, it's here instead for someone else to buy, take out of the London area, hopefully. And, well, um, please do. Yeah. There's just a lovely survivor and a sensible guide price. Someone's going to get themselves a really good car here. Can we just nip over to the competitor? Yes. Which we are, uh, we're going to pitch these two together in another video. But uh, this Renault 5 Monaco. So same year as that Fiesta. Monaco was your special edition luxury Renault 5. Lovely Connolly leather seats Connolly inside. leather. Renault 5 GT turbo steering wheel. As a period piece, it's lovely. And the Renault 5 Mark II, the lovely little car. This one's got nearly all the Monaco spec bits still in place. The only thing that's missing is the famous suit bag and fitted luggage in the back. A lovely little piece. Compact leather lined luxury. But uh, and, uh, now I can see where you're going. You're going for not luxury, so compact leather lined luxury. Of a less compact luxury. nature. A Bentley T2. Now, 
This is a relatively recent entry. What a lovely example. Yes, and the one thing that specialists will always say is don't buy the ones that have done low mileage but not gone anywhere because it doesn't do the cars any good. They're designed to be used. What you want is one that's done high mileage but has been serviced properly, no expense spared. And this and is that That's car. exactly what this is. This has done nearly 200,000 miles. The service history is vast. All at Bentley Rolls Royce specialists. We're looking here, it's on a set of very new looking Goodyear tyres and looking at it, you wouldn't think it's done 200,000 miles. The condition is remarkable, it is. isn't it? The interior is really straight looking. A few yep. little bits of cracking on the leather but nothing you couldn't live with. The paintwork, the structure, the seals and everything all look lovely. It ran I mean, like a dream. The mileage is almost the material provided it's been serviced properly and this is a car with a proven track record of being able to cover mileage and that's what that's what you want. Yeah, absolutely. Well, should we go and explore elsewhere on the Hobbs lot? Yes, to we can go back in another... time. Yes, let's go and do that. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. Now Jack, this is where the smart money is. Right here. Yes, this A is... A Jaguar the... S-Type, 3 litre V6 Six. Sport. Colour key grille yep. and bumpers, 18 inch split rim BBS alloys. Been Did... off the road since 2020, but it's in remarkable condition. Mm -hmm. The interior is spotless, it's selling for no reserve. I don't think you can go wrong. If you do want a more traditional Jaguar, we've got this mm. XJS here. Now this is a 3.6 manual. Yes, now they keep telling me that 3.6 manual is the one I should drive, and that is the one to have. I haven't been able to drive one yet, so I can't say it, but that's the one that people say you should have. They are fabulous. I really must just point out this Austin A40 Somerset. MOTs uh, back to 1986 along with a raft of other paperwork. Really nice standard fettel. Interior, not perfect, a few little rips and tears here on the driver's seat, but it has that lovely smell. It looks really tidy under there, all structurally good. Loads of room under there, isn't it? Not, yeah, really there. good for maintenance, but yeah, you know, it looks like a recently recalled radiator, lots of tidy, smart black paintwork, new battery, no oil leaks. Next to it, another Birmingham product. And <laughs> the Range Rover, a classic 4.2 V8 LS LSE model. It's riding on air, it's got the long wheelbase. Probably needs a little bit of work to get it sort of back to its finest condition, but I'm not seeing any rust in the vital bits. It looks like a really good buy. <laughs> Last few nods to this, this <laughs> 1980 Vauxhall Cavalier Mark I sports hatch. It's remarkable oh, condition, and again, this has got MOTs back to 1984. A lovely time walk piece. But very, very rare, so of its time. But if you think this is rare, come look at this. Okay, let's go. It is a 1909 AX, not the Citroen AX, a Renault AX from the very early days of motoring. My goodness, yes, yeah. what, a, what a thing. Now this is registered with the Veteran Car Club of it Great is. Britain, which means it can take part in a lot of very particular events. Reputation in its era for being very reliable, capable of doing long distances, so one of the first practical cars. Now this cars. example's got a fully documented restoration from yes. a few years back, and the condition is remarkable, but I was particularly taken by the kick plate, which uh, <laughs> reports Rippon Brothers coach makers in Huddersfield, which I believe is certainly one of the, if not the, oldest coach maker in Britain, supposedly um, built a coach for Queen Elizabeth I, but uh, they then supplied bodies for Lanchester, Rolls-Royce, Bentley and Renault. Open tourer body it's on this fantastic. one, so you've got your two main what seats, a, your what little a thing. Dickies in the back there, so in fact here in the back is the VCC there we go. Renault 1909 plate. Nice little rug for the passengers on the back. Quality of them, in fact, it's all metal and brass. And if you're into your engineering and your pack mechanics, these nice clinky, clanky gear linkages and stuff, it's fascinating. I, I really love it. I, vintage I think, I think it's glorious. Stuff. And if you, if, for me, it really epitomizes the variety at Hobbs Parker's classic car yes. auction. Remember, online bidding starts at 12 noon on the 18th of October and finishes 24 hours later at 12 noon on the 19th of October. You can go online and browse the entire catalogue or come down and see the lots in person from the 16th of October. But uh, let us know in the comments which of the cars catches your eye and what you'd like to bid on. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank you. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.